Now, as we get into specific pass rush game plan, this is a people league. And I think the college game is the same way. So we don't try to put guys in boxes and say, you're this, you're that, or we're all going to do this move because it's the best move on it. Like, we're not going to do that. Like, every single player is an individual. And one size doesn't fit all. We teach pass rush like, like a buffet. We'll teach a whole bunch of different moves. You just kind of go down to the face. Hey, this is for me. This really isn't for me. That doesn't fit my, my skill set. That doesn't, that doesn't fit my play style. And you kind of select it that way. But when it comes to developing a plan, especially for young rushers, it's like, okay, you're a big league pitcher. Like, throw your fastball, whatever that is. We got to identify, like, what is it that you do really well? And we're going to build your rush off of that. So if you're a great get off guy and you're fast off the ball, we're going to build with some sort of edgy move. While we're building that, though, there's going to be a natural counter off of it. If you're an outside scissors guy and the tackle sets past and you're at the depth of the quarterback, we may teach a club back inside. We may teach an inside spin. But it's important that your moves kind of pair up with their natural counter. From there, you want to have one change up rush that maybe maybe builds off of what the lineman doesn't do well, or perhaps just that second move that you feel confident that you could get to. And then every player, regardless of uh, of you know how fast or how they are or they aren't, like you have to have the ability to go speed to power. And, and really especially as you start thinking about inside guys, like we, we use the term speed to power, but the reality of it is it's more edge to power. You know, we have Chandler Jones here who's going to be in the hall of fame. He's got over a hundred sacks. Like he's not a speed rusher. He's an edge rusher, but Chandler has the ability to go from edge to power. And I think depending on how the offensive line sets you, everybody has to have that that in their bag. And you don't necessarily have to be a big guy to be able to go power because a lot of it's reactive to how the offense is set. And that kind of leads right into your next the next point. It's like know your opponent. What are his strengths? What are his weaknesses? How's he been beat? Does this guy kick twice and then heel click where his feet are together? Well, if that's the case, he's a prime candidate to go speed to power on because he has no base. Is this guy going to aggressively jump set me? Okay, well, I got I to gotta come out and I got to have my hands up ready to be combative, okay? The other piece of that is like knowing your opponent is understanding the slide. Just like we talked about with the middle push, with the two-way go player on the inside, it, it's as an edge player, if I'm to the side of the slide, I need to know if that guard is working out to me because if he is well this ain't the time to make a fast inside move because the guard's going to be there waiting for me i've got to rush up the field and build the space and then maybe i can slice the slide and, and turn it into an inside counter but coming inside right now into the slide like that's just useless and you just like peeing on a wall you just get your shoes wet it doesn't help you okay and then the last piece is like you have to rush the quarterback we make a big emphasis on like all right how deep does he set up? What does he like to climb the pocket? Does he like to escape out of the back? Like when, when shit goes bad, when things go poorly, how's this guy going to escape? Because that can also help us affect him and sack the quarterback. And then the last thing is like coaches practices for practice. Like don't discourage these guys from trying something new. Now, if it's just completely opposite their skill set, like I get it. Hey man, that, that ain't for you but allow these guys to make new mistakes, right? Try something new, try this on, see if you like this. Cause by doing that, you might kind of, you might identify like, oh, sh oh, this guy can do this particular rush. This is natural for him. And, and that helps the player too. Like they build comfort, they build confidence. And then they, they identify a new move and then they, work on it and they refine it and then they go out in the game and they execute it. So those are the things that we're kind of looking for. 